how difficult is it to walk away from the rinse and repeat? Because, you know, you kept playing, you're going to win another premiership. Like, all things being equal, you're a two-time premiership player. Mm. If you didn't walk away, um, there could still be more to come. You'd still be going. But is that just by the by because of the journey you've described? There's no... Like, you had to watch another one where your mates won the premiership. Mm. But were you just done with it by then? That's okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I was. I, you never... Like, what do they say? And An alcoholic's always an alcoholic. Mm. Like, you, you never... You never... Even when you're sober. Um, football was my love. Like, my passion. It's It never... Even when I watch it now, I'm like, man, I wish I was out there. But I, I now know the cost. I now know... Those, those what are, two competing yeah. parts of your person. Uh, yeah, the the emotional cost, that's those two competing people. Yeah. But also the time cost and the physical cost and all that kind of stuff. And I see, I feel like I would have stayed in a negative place had I just removed football from my life and then just try like, and not replaced it with anything better. But I, when I identified that what was football taking the place of, it was taking the place of quality time with my family and it was taking away from me having a sort of a deeper understanding of the Bible and a, a deeper connection with God that those were the two things that now just had to fill the place. And I've found so much more consistent and uh, reliable uh, peace and happiness from filling my life with those two things than the extreme highs of a grand final win. Who was the hardest person to tell? Um, uh, who was the hardest person to tell? Probably Jack, uh, Jack Rewalt and Lepa, Justin Lepich. Um, because I knew that they kind of wouldn't understand. Um, because, th yeah, like, it's a, yeah, it's a hard one to explain, but th those, those two specifically, I, I just always, because we're very similar, those, those two, um, especially in myself, I feel like we're very similar people where we're constantly warring against the people it, within, inside us. We both have, um, and so, yeah, it was, they were really hard to tell and I probably didn't tell them and I probably wasn't vulnerable enough with them to tell them the full story to help them to understand at the time. Um, but yeah, they were, they were challenging, but like when I talk, if I contrast that with the two easiest to tell, it was Grimesy and Dave who. Dylan Asprey, Grimes, David Asprey. Yeah. Um, because I'd sort of. They'd seen every part of, of sort of my, the warring and I'd, I'd probably been a bit more vulnerable and open with them about the warring inside me about, um, yeah, the two people. And so they'd said, you know, whatever makes you happy makes me happy. So if it's playing football with us, then great. If it's not, whereas maybe with some of the other guys, I felt like maybe the only value I held with them was winning them games and stopping goals. So they were probably the harder ones to tell, but I thought that that's maybe they, all they w wanted from me. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights, and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy and peace and love.